you know, disappointing. Uh, let's start. Um, you know, we got off to a good start. Obviously, the first drive, we take it to the length of the field, and then they uh, and they throw the ball over top of us for a huge gain. Got us kind of back on our heels. Um, but if but if you look at the game, and just go through the amount of mistakes that were made, you know, it was. Uh, it's obviously on me. It's obviously on me. There's nowhere else to direct it. Uh, I thought the effort was good. I thought guys played hard. Um, nobody caved in. Nobody gave in. Um, you know, the penalties, the penalties were just unbelievable. And I'm sure they were the right calls. You know, there's no, um, just some silly things. You know, I think Nick Devonzo himself had three penalties. Uh, we had probably three or four on the offensive line. Uh, we had an illegal formation because Carlos Wiggins was moving when Gambo was in motion. Uh, took a touchdown away there at the end. Um, so just an unbelievable amount of penalties. Uh, drop balls. You know, we dropped two balls there, I guess, at the end of the first half. Uh, we fumbled a pitch on the option. Um, again, the effort was there. Um, just the execution wasn't there. You know, I, I thought we had some guys that really played hard. I thought. I thought Damian Gamblin played really hard. I thought Terry and Gibson came back off an injury and did some good things. Um, you know, it, we competed on defense, but again, that was really hard to stop them. You know, they ran the ball on us uh, probably more than they even anticipated they were going to run the ball. And then on third downs, we had a hard time covering, covering them when they really had to have it. So uh, Pretty much a butt kicking, you know, if, if we call it what it is. You know, we were fortunate at halftime. We were only down 20 to 14, quite honestly. You know, it could have been, it could have been more. Um, you know, with that said, I think, um, you know, it's the second game of the year. Uh, we have to get better. We, we got exposed a little bit. I think our offensive line got exposed. You know, we started Mahina at center. Uh, we went with Aaron Jenkins and Olden Camp in there at guard. Uh, Reno and Adcock, and then Adcock went out with a knee pretty early. Uh, you know, they basically lined up in one defense and covered our guards and whipped us in there. You know, we couldn't get the dive going. And there's only so many times you can pitch the ball. You know, we had some success pitching it. There were times when we got the ball out in the perimeter, but you can't just pitch it 25 times. You know, something's going to happen and the ball's going to go on the ground. So certainly, um, you know, so certainly the reality set in. Um, we are what we are. We got to continue to improve. We got to continue to get better. I do think we have a chance to be a good football team, uh, but they were the better team tonight. They, they deserve to win that game, and they won that game. Um, so again, you know, I think our guys played hard. I don't fault the effort at our, all. Uh, when you have that many penalties, it's on the head coach. Um, when you do some of the things we did, it's on the head coach, and there's nowhere else, no, no, no other way to say it. You know, uh, um, just look up there. We thought we could outwork, out hit, and out discipline them, and we didn't do it. We didn't do it. They come in here and honestly out disciplined us. If, if doesn't matter where the officials were from, those those calls were those calls were good calls. All right, Rick. So I'm talk about how important this game was. Uh, how do you turn the well, it's the second game of the year. You know, obviously, it was an opportunity. Uh, it was an opportunity we didn't take advantage of, but because Tulsa beat us. It, it wasn't like we went out there and didn't try to um, take advantage of it. They came in here and beat us. I, I give them credit. I, I really do. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a setback, but more important than what happened tonight is, is what we do tomorrow and what we do as a result of this. Um, you know, so it's the second game of the year. It's disappointing. There's no way to sugarcoat that. Uh, we got to dig in. You know, we're going on the road for the next two weeks uh, at Arizona State, a Friday night game, and then we're going to Wyoming. So there's a lot of football left to be played, but quite honestly, if we don't improve, we have to improve. You know, it's not time to be philosophical. It's not time to talk big picture. It's time to talk about how do we get that dive going up in there. Um, there at the end of the game is fourth and one. We can't make a yard up in there. Just stuff us and, and, and give them credit. But we're going to play other defenses that line up, um, um, you know, and play the heck out of us. So, you know, to me, it's not big picture as much as just how do we get better? You know, what do we do at corner? Uh, we, we, you know, I.B. Brown played tonight. I thought did pretty good at times. 
Um, Cranston, Cranston got beat over the top a couple times by 88. Uh, Donnie Duncan came in. Uh, you know, is it Bijan Parker? Is it is it Markel Bird at corner? You know, we've got to correct some things and we have to fix some things and we have to get better. So we've played two games. Um, we are what we are. We see what we are. And we have a chance to go improve starting tomorrow. And that's what we'll try to do. Mistakes are on you. Yeah. Why on you? You're not the. I mean, you're not the one out there on the field. <laughs> someone has to be in charge. I mean, someone has to be in charge. You know. Um, um, you know, I really thought we would play really well tonight. I mean, I make no bones about that. I thought we would really play efficiently. I knew they were going to be talented. I knew they'd hit some plays on us. I knew offensively they're going to be really good. But I, I, I really counted on just the discipline piece of it. Um, and, and we didn't do it. I mean, I've never seen a flurry of penalties to that degree, you know, and, uh, and, and, and then to drop a couple balls, you know, Gambo dropped one and then Patrick Reed dropped one. Um, we really dropped one on the pitch. Uh, we get a touchdown, we get the illegal formation, the next play we throw an interception. We just didn't play as well as we're capable of playing. You know, so that, that's why there's hope. You know, if, if we'd have gone out there and said, man, we played good and we got whooped, I'd probably feel better right now. But honestly, I know we can play much better and I know we can coach much better. We're a better team. But I will say we got exposed a little bit on the offensive line. There's no, there's no hiding that. There's no hiding the fact that they threw the ball over top of us a couple times. Those are real things that we have to fix. We have to fix. Um, you know, so. Coach DeCoach, you guys seemed, uh, I mean, it almost seemed contagious with the personal fouls. And, yeah. you know, I understand early in a season you're going to have mistakes, but there were so many mental mistakes. How, when things are going like that, do you try to, to gather things up? Well, we probably had you? more 10 to 15 yard penalties in this game than since I've been here, yeah. honestly. And,. They were kind of oddities, you know, like one time they got Nick for pulling a guy off the pile after the fumbled punt. Um, they got a hands to the face on Lee Crosby on a field goal block. Uh, there, there were some different kind of penalties. You know, they weren't just the holding penalty or the, the um, pass interference penalty. You know, they were a little bit odd. And I don't mean that at all that they weren't the right call. They were just... They were just different calls, and that, that's what was so frustrating about it. You know, it was kind of a frustrating kind of a kind of a deal. It really was. You know, we got a chop block one time. We got a block um, late uh, by Eden Mahina. You know, they were odd kind of things. Do you look at it as a fluke, or is no. it something you talk about in practice this week? That hey, yeah, I look at it as you know, we just weren't disciplined enough. You know, obviously, if you get that many penalties, it, c it comes down to discipline. So for me to stand here and answer the question right now, you know, as I go through 14 penalties, I mean, they called an offside on the kickoff. Um, it's been a while since I've seen that happen. You know, normally they give you a little bit of margin there on a kickoff. The kid kicked it out of the end zone, you know. But there were just a lot of different kind of calls. There, were, there was no real pattern to it other than we were undisciplined. That's my only, my only answer for it. Coach, you think uh, maybe some of the guys were a little too hyped up, you know, because you can get like overhyped and, and make mental errors and things like that? Or? You know, I, I, I know we knew and our players knew this was an important game. But at some point as that game goes on, when you can't block those two inside guys, that has nothing to do with, well, we were too hyped or we were too anxious. Or if they throw the ball over top of you and you can't cover them, that has nothing to do with that. So, you know, particularly the, the, the way the game started out. You know, we take the first drive and go 75 yards or whatever it was for, you know, a touchdown drive. So I don't really think that was it. You know, I, I, think, um, I, I think we thought we would play better, and we didn't. And I do think they're pretty good. I do. I, I, I knew coming in, you know, they had 10 starters back on offense, and I knew Bill Young was a heck of a defensive coordinator, and they, they, they you know, Beat us 100 to 24 the last two times we played, and they just came in here and kicked our butt again. So I give them credit. Anything else? All right, guys. Of course. I mean, I'm always trying to keep the guys upbeat and make sure they know 
that um, they made a bad penalty and just make sure they try to fix it. And but really, it all comes down to, the, to them and really just buying in and being disciplined to themselves. Does it start you get contagious with the team when you start getting so many of those going on? Um, I feel like there's something, yeah, that definitely goes on. That's something that I try to try to break and try to help break. But um, guys just need to understand that just to play the next play and go in there and play whistle to whistle. You said it's up key to play the next play. How? How deflating is it when, you know, like it seems like you get something going and then there's another personal foul, there's another penalty, there's just, I mean, it was just one thing after another and how tough was that? It, it always is tough. I mean, when you get those kind of penalties, it's deflating when you're holding them to uh, third down and all of a sudden we get a personal foul and they're down the field. Um, but it's something, just like I said, we need to learn to play the next play and guys need to learn to be disciplined in everything they do. Coach, uh, Dave, you talked to the media a lot uh, this week about how big this game was and how important it was uh, for, the, for the season. Uh, obviously, it's a huge disappointment. How do you guys get past that? Um, it's just a learning opportunity for all of us. I know the defense that we out there is not the defense that I know we can play. I mean, guys, we're flying around all practice this week, and it's just something we need to learn from it, learn from our mistakes, and go out there next week and play hard. How is, is uh, how do you how do you get the defense to to like finally make some of those big plays down the stretch? I mean, like you being the leader, what, is there anything that you can say or, or get the guys more motivated? Or? Uh, just try to keep them hyped up throughout the whole game. If some big play happens, some guys, you know, if they drop their heads, I try to prop them back up and make sure, just like I've said many times, play the next play. That's what it comes down to, and guys need to learn that. Just to do their job. That's what. It, that's what it all comes down to. You know, we're a run-oriented team. We run first, so you know, we're trying to shove it down people's throat. So when the dive is not working, it really throws us off, off balance and really ruins what we're trying to do offensively. You talk about the penalties and how deflating it was. <coughs> it's just like you. You start. You stop. You start. You stop. Different things happen. Switching the momentum all over the place. It's deflating, but adversity happens in football. You know, try to keep my guys up, try to keep making play after play. But one of the first models I learned from Coach the Best getting here is Lobos don't beat the Lobos. And outwork, out hit, out discipline. Man, we weren't disciplined, and Lobos beat the Lobos tonight. I guess, I mean, I don't know if you heard my question to Dakota, but. Like adversity happens, you can't fold and and went away from it. You have to take responsibility for it, learn from it, move on. We got to get better as a team. You know, discipline is a big part of football, and we got to get it. If we want to be successful this year. You guys had two drives, uh, two touchdown drives, under three minutes, but you guys also had seven three and outs. What do you think was going so well on those drives that uh, that everything was clicking as opposed to those three and outs? Execution, doing what we're supposed to do, doing our jobs. When we don't do our jobs, we're not successful. When we do, we are. I mean, it's plain and simple. And like the penalties, when we get a big play and it brings us right back, get a big play and it brings us right back, that killed us too. So we just have to be disciplined. It all comes back to that. Put our nose to the ground, get back to work. Yes, sir. Anybody else? Thank you, guys. Thanks,